Hello everyone, this is El Shaddai's Amazing Grace, also known as God's Amazing Grace, and this prayer is to destroy the spirit of disappointment in your life. You see, God does not want you to suffer, neither does God want you to be under the influence of disappointment. God wants you to have a prosperous life. When we read from Exodus chapter 3 verse 7, it says that God saw the affliction of his people and he was aware of their sufferings and because of this it was the time for God to come down and deliver them from the power of the Egyptians and when we continue to read Psalms verses 23 verses 4 it says even though I walk through the darkest valley I will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me and when we read first John chapter 1 verses 7 it says but if we walk in the light as he is the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Jesus is some purifies us from all sin. This means God is light and when we cry upon him he will hear and when we wash ourselves with the blood of Jesus all sin from darkness that can hinder disappointment in our lives is diffused and because sin has been diffused our deliverance has taken place and because our deliverance has taken place it means that we do not walk alone we begin to walk in the light of God and as we are walking in the light of God the grace of God comes upon us which means that no weapon formed against us shall prosper which means that sin has no dominion over us which now brings in any restoration from disappointment we've had in our lives so right now I decree and declare with the mighty name of Jesus Christ receive your appointment with God to receive your restoration the same restoration God's people received in the land of Egypt receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ so right now we are going into prayer and as we are going to prayer if you agree with everything I am saying at the sound of my voice everything will manifest because when we read Matthew chapter 18 verses 19 it says again I say to you if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask it will be done for them by my father in heaven our almighty God the Alpha and Omega the beginning and the end the head and not the tail in heaven you are our deliverer you are our healer hallowed be thy name you are mighty and you reign in power God, I'm excited for the day to come when all rebellion is destroyed and your reputation is vindicated so that the world will see that you are the one God whose name is above all. Forgive us for our sins and may the blood of Jesus wash me and whoever is listening in agreement to this prayer so that our prayer is not hindered by sin. I clothe myself spiritually with the armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the shoes of readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. And I gird up the lines of my mind, for we do not wrestle with flesh and blood, but with the powers of darkness in the supernatural sphere. May the blood of Jesus be a hedge around my soul, mind and spirit for protection. And to anyone listening who is in agreement to this prayer. I take my authority given to me, fire by force to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt me or anybody else who is listening in agreement to this prayer. For if God is with us, nothing can be against us. As it is written in Psalms 91:11, we have been given our Father's angels from heaven to accompany us, to defend us, to preserve us in all of our ways of obedience and service. So right now, I call upon the thousands upon the thousands upon 10,000 times 10,000 of angels to come to our defense, to join us in this spiritual battle against principalities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You spirit of disappointment, I bind and I cast you out of our lives right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I invite validate and seize your plans against me or anyone who's listening in agreement to this prayer right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ wherever you have come from whether it's the land whether it's the air whether it's sea or out of this world I cripple your movements to bring destruction with disappointment in our lives right now with the blood of Jesus Christ whatever time of the day it may be may the thunder of God come and strike and crumble your territory from your wicked ways that is trying to bring confusion that is trying to bring frustration that is trying to bring doubt into the word of the living God in our lives right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for it reads in Luke chapter 10 verses 18 he replied I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven I decree and declare that the sender of that disappointment coming into our lives may they fall down like lightning right now in Jesus name if disappointment has imprisoned you whether it is in your finances whether it is in your marriage whether it is in your education or anything in your life 
right now may the same angel that released Peter in Acts chapter 12 verse 7 come now and break every chain holding you in captivity in the mighty name of Jesus the same strength Paul received for him to declare in Romans chapter 8 verses 31 if God is with us who could be against us may you receive an overflow of God's strength in your life right now in Jesus name for it says in Philippians chapter 4 verses 13 I can do all things through him who gives me strength meaning that anything that is in your way right now any work of the enemy right now you shall overcome it with the strength of God in Jesus name all imaginations of negative thoughts negative words that is coming into your mind telling you that you are a failure telling you that you're not going anywhere telling you that your life is worthless and you should commit suicide right now I stand in truth and I tell you that as it says in John chapter 8 verses 44 it says that the devil is a liar and he's the father of lies and it also says in John chapter 10 verses 10 the thief has come to only steal kill and destroy but you see the almighty God the living God we serve has come to you to give you life and to the full because the almighty God also says in his word that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us and through the blood of Jesus the precious blood of Jesus that heals and delivers right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I washed all of those negative thoughts all those negative words out of your mind right now in Jesus name I call upon the healing and divine intervention to bring the peace of God into your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because the almighty God said in Hebrews chapter 13 verses 5 I will never fail you I will never abandon you any joy that has been hijacked from you Right now, I command the angels of the Lord to locate and bring your joy back to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And as you are receiving your joy, may God anoint you with the oil of joy, fill your mouth with laughter, and turn your wailing into dancing, because God has removed your sackcloth and has clothed you with joy, as written in Psalm 30 verses 11. And because I have answered this in faith, I know it has been done, because as we read John chapter 16 verses 24, it says, Ask and you will receive, and your joy will be complete. Thank you, Jesus. I close all demonic gates open around your soul with the blood of Jesus and every strong man who is responsible for the associated spirits of disappointment, negativity, doubt, lack of faith. Right now, I send the hellstones of fire to them to be roasted beyond remedy right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the earthquake of God go and take a visitation to those territories of the strong man that is holding up disappointment in your life right now in Jesus' name. For the earthquake of God to tremble all of them and for the angels of destruction to come and draw their swords and cut loose every padlock, every chain, anything that is still holding you for disappointment to come into your life. I break it all right now of the blood of Jesus. I break it right now of the earthquake of God and I break it with the sword of the angels right now in Jesus name. I come against every evil communication that is coming to you in your life directing you to your wrong path to your wrong destiny I diffuse those communications in your ears with the blood of Jesus and I call upon truth to come to you so that whatever plan God has for you may you start to hear it may you start to listen to it may you know where you are supposed to be in your life so that all the frustration all the disappointment all the lies the enemy tried to put you in I cancel it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every power that is responsible for your disappointment may they receive the flood of the blood of Jesus right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I command the angels of God to invade them and lead them into darkness right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ right now anyone right now who's working with these powers who's working with these principalities to bring disappointment to you right now any arrow that has been shot to you I reverse that shot of arrow back to the sender right now in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ may the Almighty God come and direct you on your path with the Holy Spirit may the Almighty God bring back to you peace may the Almighty God bring back to you happiness may the Almighty God bring back to you joy and whatever expectations the enemy was trying to get you on so that you feel disappointed may the Almighty God show you your real expectations in life may the Almighty God show you this through wisdom through knowledge right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ 
I decree and declare that you are free from today right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any chain, any prison that you was hold captive in, right now they have all been diffused with the blood of Jesus and every work of the enemy has been scattered. Confusion has gone to their camp. They cannot see you because the blood of Jesus has ruined their eyes. They have become blind. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are going on your right path. The right expectations God wants you to have in your life is coming to you. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Receive abundance. Receive the blessings of God. Receive that love from God. Receive that peace. Receive that joy. Receive that happiness. Receive that laughter right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cover every prayer point Jesus. right now with the blood of Jesus. I Jesus. seal it right now in the Jesus. mighty name of Jesus Christ. So that any work of the enemy that is trying to tap into their prayers, they cannot. And any work of the enemy that is trying to tap it, may you receive an angelic slap from God right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God, for accepting our prayer. Thank you, Jesus. You are so glorious. You are so mighty. Thank you, Father God, for everything you've done for us. Thank you, Father, for delivering us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for taking this disappointment away from us. Thank you, Lord. You have shown your power. You have shown that you reign. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. You're such a wonderful, loving God. Thank you, Father God, for delivering us and healing us. Thank you, Father God, for taking that spirit of disappointment away. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. I give you the praise and the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. So we've reached the end of the prayer. And lastly, one more thing I'll just say to you is that to remember that the enemy feeds on sin. And when they feed on sin, that's how they can attack you. So it's really important for you to communicate with God through your worship, through your praise, meditating on the word. And when you do this, the Holy Spirit will then guide you and teach you how to live your life and the things you should stop so that the enemy can't get you, so that you do not fall into the trap of the enemy's hands. All of this is on top of the blood of Jesus, the precious blood of Jesus, because it's the blood of Jesus that has been given to us so that we have the authority to trample over snakes and scorpions. So on that note, have a blessed day and stay blessed.